Hello everyone, it's Jemai Just 13 here coming at you with a uh, Jemai Just Airport update of um, Charles Douglas International Airport. Uh, I told, I don't know what day it was, but I saw the one on Saturday because the inaugural flight at the Sao Paulo starts today, so um, that's kind of why I waited. Well, that's exactly why I waited. So, anyways, I'm going to try to see the inaugural flight today, but unfortunately my, uh, my mom has a funeral to go to, <clears throat> and uh, it was just within work. It wasn't anything like it, family related, but so uh, uh, not really... I'm not going just because I'm not, I don't really know the person, so I just uh, stayed home. But anyways, uh, if I can't go out there, I'll try the other day, but I can't guarantee it. So, But anyways, we will make the update. So first of all, um, on runway 33 right, we have a, well, let me first let me say um, my friend Jay, he's a pilot for JetBlue. He's an E-190 first officer. He is on this aircraft, jump seating to Tampa. So that's where this aircraft's going, 734 rolling down runway 33 right with service to the Tampa area. I'll go on the other side so you can actually, so because I have a lot of the sunlight's not really too good, so a little cloudy, but this that's a little better. And right here is a U.S. Airways CRJ-900. Um, this aircraft's just lining up on runway 33 right. Um, he's flying out to the uh, Daytona Beach area. And right here we have a U.S. Airways 767-200 with service to Madrid. Let's get around here. We have a U.S. Airways A330. 200 with service to Paris. We have a U.S. Airways A330-200 with service to um, Frankfurt, Germany, which is our, this is our first, so we have two flights to Frankfurt, you may know. One's an A330-200, which is this one, and then the next one is a 300. So I'll just kind of give you like a quick, a quick view because I think it's kind of, I actually kind of like it this way before I fall again. It's like the third time, I've fallen two times already today. Well, I went I fell up the stairs and I'm about to fall there. So anyways. Go to the Allegheny aircraft. This is an A319. Um, this um, uh, aircraft is heading to Norfolk. Uh, Southwest uh, Flight 1336 with service to Baltimore, Washington, with continuing service on to Chicago Midway. Right here we have a beautiful JetBlue A320. This is the Bubbles Tail. Let's see a little better. But well, that's the Bubbles Tail. This aircraft just arrived from um, New York John F. Kennedy. It's going to park over at the gate and it's going to head back to New York John F. Kennedy. And it's... Here's the Philadelphia Eagles plane. This aircraft just arrived from Philadelphia. It's going to head over at the gate A3. And we have a U.S. Airways A320 with the IAE engines that just arrived from Portland, Oregon. And it's going to head over to gate A2. A2. Um, right here we have a, a Dash 100 with service to Greenville Spartanburg. We have a U.S. Airways Express a CRJ 700 with service to Northwest Arkansas. We have a U.S. Airways CRJ-200 um, with service to Grand Bahamas, one daily flight there, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Right here, U.S. Airways CRJ-900 going to runway 33 left with service to Des Moines. U.S. Airways A320 just arrived from Sacramento. It's going to go over to gate, uh, if there's any gates left, it's going to go over to uh, probably one of those gates over there. Um, Southwest. Illinois 1. Um, this aircraft just arrived from Houston. It's going to head over to Chicago Midway. United A320 with service to Chicago O'Hare. Air Canada Jazz CRJ 200, sorry, with service to Toronto. Delta A320 with service to Atlanta. Delta A320 with service to Detroit. Over here we have the, we have a uh, US Airways A321 rotating on 3-3 uh, three, three left with service to Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, right here we have a U.S. Airways A330-300. This aircraft just arrived from Frankfurt. It's about a, probably a 430 arrival from Frankfurt. Um, anyways, um, so anyways, yeah, sorry. We have a U.S. Airways A330-300 with service to Rome. Just getting prepared, and this aircraft's going to get prepared for uh, London Heathrow. Um, over here, of course, is Lufthansa uh, Flight 429 with service to Munich. Um, getting serviced pretty heavy. Got everything going on over there, fuel, cargo, uh, Service, um, food, drinks, and all that good stuff. Baggage. Maybe you can add another few more bags, but that's all I have for that. But uh, <clears throat> anyways, right here, this is the this is where we're. This is the reason for this. But here is a uh, U.S. Airways Flight 802 with service to Sao Paulo. It's a 550 departure. And over here we have a U.S. Airways 767-200 Flight 800 with service to Rio de Janeiro. Oh, I love having two of those. Um, this is a U.S. Airways 757 that just arrived from Philadelphia. It's going to park at, well, it's in the midst of parking at gate A20 from Philadelphia. And then um, that aircraft, 
Uh, yeah, sorry. It's going to head out to Orlando later. I was just looking for my other 758. But here's the JetBlue Flight 1088 with service to, uh, I'm sorry, 1242 with service to Boston. Uh, this is the uh, Harlequin Tail. Um, what, my favorite. Well, when you're at JetBlue, you usually have two favorites. You have the old generation favorite and the new generation favorite. So barcode and Harlequin is where I'm, that's where I'm at right now. So just um, anyways. Here's the U.S. Airways Arizona Cardinals plane. This aircraft is heading over to uh, San Antonio with continuing service onto um, Phoenix Sky Harbor. And a Delta A319 with service to the Minneapolis St. Paul area. Uh, uh, focus out. There you go. And right here we have a we have a U.S. Airways A321 that's lining up, or he's lined up on runway 33 left, and he is heading to Seattle Tacoma. Now we're gonna head over to the narrow. I'll just give like a quick little view right here. I'm just try to focus it to see. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Muy bien, muy bien. Uh, here's a U.S. Airways 737-400. Um, this aircraft is heading to um, the, oh shoot, I just had a sit I wanted to go to, oh, uh, I think it was Hartford I wanted to. Yeah, Hartford. This aircraft's going to Hartford. Because uh, I, I try to plan cities and uh, sometimes I just forget, but whatever. Here's a U.S. Airways A319 Piedmont. This aircraft just arrived from Charleston. Um, it's now going to head over to the Bermuda area. Uh, U.S. Airways A321. It arrived on 15, or oh God, no, not 15 left, right on, no, probably 33 right, and he's parking in the midst of parking gate A5. Uh, this aircraft uh, just arrived from the Boston area. We have U.S. Airways A321. This aircraft's preparing a flight out to the Los Angeles area. We have a U.S. Airways A320 with service to Salt Lake City. We have a U.S. Airways A321 with service to Denver. We have a U.S. Airways PSA A319. Um, this aircraft is flying to Nashville later. We have a U.S. Airways A321 with service to San Juan. We have another U.S. Airways A321 um, <clears throat> with service to the New York LaGuardia area. And last but not least, we have my good, my my favorite 757 route with service to Dublin, flight 720, I believe. It's pretty sure it's 720. Uh, it's a 620 departure or 625, but yeah, I don't, I'm pretty sure it's flight 720 or 620. So, uh, Las Vegas trip is coming up very, very, very soon next week. Or, you know, say Saturday, yeah, next week. Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta at least show you the, I gotta show you the Las Vegas thing at least. But, but yeah. Um, anyways, uh, that's about it. I'm getting my planes in Las Vegas. I mean, that's kind of the reason I haven't really bought anything. I'm not trying to buy a lot of planes though. I'm trying to conserve now because I need to get my flight lessons done. I actually have a flight lesson next week. So, uh, it's more about flight. It's more about flight time now. I'm kind of gonna chill back on collecting, just not stopping. Don't get, don't think, don't think of that. But just kind of just put put the throttle back a little bit, just calm down a little bit. Um, six years has gone pretty well, but not stopping, of course. But I would like to say, uh, let's see here. Uh, I just forgot, but uh, yeah, that's okay. Um, oh yeah, I remember. Uh, with the merger going on, I'm, I don't know, because I don't really feel like getting all these new American planes. I mean, I don't know. It's, it, it would take me four years to get it to where this is, and that, that seems like a lot of time. So uh, it's something I'll think about. It's just be like a see how it goes. But as of now, I kind of want to just keep it as just the U.S. Airways hub, and then as time goes on, I'll just slowly build up my American fleet, and then I'll just bring the American up. But other than, you know, something like that. So hope you guys enjoyed this update, and uh, summer's on for me so um i know if i have a few friends who still have school but they'll be out in a couple weeks so anyways enjoy your summer i'll have an update um have an update next i'll have an update next friday the day be, uh not uh, yeah and the next update next update will be next friday um so or sorry next thursday one of those days anyways thanks for watching the video guys